What makes a great tank in War Thunder? Is it armor, big boy one-shot cannons, or an unmatched ability to capture that D-point? Attack the D-point! I think the best tank is probably the one you're most effective with because you know how to leverage it and squeeze every drop of Gaijin juice out of it. And today we are analyzing game data to see which tank at 6.7 has been the most effective for many War Thunder players. So can you guess which 6.7 tank has the highest KD? It's the Object 248. Just look at its face. The data shows that players using the 248 have had the best aggregated KD rates over the past several weeks. And it ranks in the top three for targets destroyed per battle, so it's highly lethal. Now, I haven't played the 248 in a while, and so I decided to take it out for a spin, and I was impressed. I can see why this tank has been doing well. The 100mm main gun is phenomenal. And yes, I will call it a main gun and not a cannon because I was a Marine Corps M1A1 tanker in real life, and that is what we called it. I also call it the Sad Maker or Freedom Deliverer. But the main gun can easily let you one-shot a lot of things you will face. This is what makes this vehicle so dangerous. And you can achieve a sub 10 second reload, so you can keep sending those beefy APHEBC rounds down range. Now if you're a Russian main and you have the 248, then I'm probably just singing to the choir. But what if you don't have this vehicle? At 6.7, is it worth getting? Let me first address the Russian elephant in the room, my skill issue. I like to blow up a lot in this thing. A lot. The armor isn't spectacular. There's several weak spots that can ruin your day, the lower plate, spots in the turret and the cupola. So at 6.7, you need to learn this tank, be one with it, and nurture that sweet Gaijin juice. Oh. But stats don't lie. Players have been doing exceptionally well with the 248. It has the highest KD, and I actually had fun playing with it. So what do you think? Is the 248 the most lethal tank at 6.7? Or is this a momentary signal or blip in the data? Let me know your thoughts and consider subscribing for more War Thunder data analysis.